What I'd like to do in this video is to walk you through how you can record a narrated PowerPoint in Panopto. Before starting, you'll need a computer with internet access, a microphone either built in or externally connected to your computer, if desired, a webcam, an actual PowerPoint presentation that is open on your desktop, and your Canvas course. There are three hotkeys in Panopto that you might find of interest. F8 will start the recording, F9 will pause the recording, and F10 will stop the recording. I'm actually going to do two different videos. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to open Panopto in Canvas, different settings in Panopto, and how to actually record a narrated PowerPoint in Panopto. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how to edit your Panopto recording, how to add captions to your Panopto recording, and finally how to embed your Panopto recording in your Canvas course. I'm in one of my Canvas courses, and to access Panopto over on the left-hand side, I want to scroll down and select Panopto recordings. That brings up a window with a drop-down menu at the top, Create. Within this, I can record a new session, upload media, create a new playlist, or create a new folder. I want to select Record a new session. If you've not used Panopto before, you'll be prompted to download Panopto to your computer, but because I've already used it in the past, I don't need to do that. Up at the top, I want to select Open Panopto Recorder. And this brings up the main Panopto record window. Up at the top, I can select the folder in which I want the Panopto recording to reside, or just leave it at the default. I can change the name of the recording, or leave it as it is. On the left is the primary source window, and on the right is the secondary source window. In the primary source window, hi everybody, you can select the webcam or the video if you want video to be included in this or you can turn it off. You can select the microphone that you want to use to record your session. I actually have two microphones connected. I'm going to use the Yeti stereo microphone, but I could also use the webcam microphone in the C920. In terms of quality, the default is standard, which I tend to prefer. You could also though select high or ultra. The reason that I like to keep it at standard is that the higher the quality, the larger the file size, and I really haven't detected a whole lot of difference among those three. Unless you are trying to capture a video that has audio, I would leave the capture audio, computer audio, unchecked. In terms of secondary sources, capture PowerPoint is one of the two, which is what I'm going to be doing here. But if you wanted to capture something on your main screen, like a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet or a website or something like that, you could select that. But I'm going to leave that unchecked. Over on the right is your secondary source window. It indicates that PowerPoint is open but not currently presenting, which is what I want. And before doing anything there, let me just mention down at the bottom, you can change the resolution of your recording. Right now it's set at 1920 by 1080, which is what I'm going to leave it on. So I'm going to select Start, Presentate, Start Presenting when the recording starts, and I'm going to press Record. That brings up my PowerPoint presentation, and I can go through the PowerPoint presentation in the same way as I did before. This is the title slide, what you're going to need, the three hotkeys, what I'm including in this video, and what I'm including in the next video. When I'm finished recording, I can select F10, and that brings up the Panopto window again. I'm going to select Done, and that brings up a window indicating that processing is taking place. I'm going to pause until the processing is complete. When the processing is finished, you will see the ability to edit and also view the video. I'm going to select View. 
and is at my PowerPoint presentation, and I can go through the PowerPoint presentation in the same way as I did before. This is the title. What I'm going to do in the next video is walk you through how you can edit your Panopto video, how you can access captions, and how you can embed your Panopto video in your Canvas course.